Now let's talk about the camera control programming. First, we need to make sure we add the bottom event and then make sure the channel number is not repeated. And in the controlling of the camera, we need to use two functions. First one is push and uh, another one is release. We need to combine these two functions to realize the camera rotating from up, down and left and right. Because there is actually there are two functions. The first one is move and the second one is stop. So when we push the button, we need it when the camera to move. And then we when we need release the button, the camera need to stop. So that's why we need to use this push and release function. So in here we need to add one more function, release function. Actually, the format is same as the push one. And then we need to fill in this blank bucket with some command code. And in here, we need to first input some function. Here, we need to use the sendcom function. And once you input the send, there will be many functions for you to choose. Here, we just need to choose the sendcom function. So we also need to add bucket and uh, semicolon. And here we want to send the command code by the controller's com port number two. So we need to input the very com code name and then the input the com code number number two and then we also need to add a double quotation mark here for the command code to fill in So next we need to fill in the command code. So the command code is coming always from the documents of the installation books, like uh, camera installation books. And now let's try to find the command code of this camera and then fill in. Wait a moment, we're looking for the command code. Okay, so now these are the command code of the camera. As you can see, the command codes and the explanation is in Chinese, but no worries, we could send you the English version for reference. So as we mentioned, we need to do the up retorting and then we just need to copy this command code from this file to the program. So actually you can see here the command code is hex code. To enable the hex code, we need to add a zero and a, an X before the command code. This X could be capital or could be normal. So to realize uh, rotating up when we are pushing and uh, once we release, the camera will be stopped we need to add one more command code in here and uh, the command line is actually the same you can just copy it from the upper one and you just need to uh, fill in the different command code okay here we just need the stop code copy and uh, then place paste it to it and uh, don't remember to add a 0 and X before the command code and uh, most importantly, the semen column is also very important. Don't forget to add it.
and on the back we can do some remark by adding two slash okay this command code is for stop okay this is the finish of the rotating up and for the rotating down we're using the same bottom event and we just need to copy and paste it underneath it and here we just need to change the join number which is the channel code into 4 and then we just need to change the command code of this the first one the push command code into the down rotating code and uh, the stop command is always the same so we don't need to change it and uh, for the right and the left rotating we just need to do the same way copy and paste and then also copy and paste the right and left comment code into this line copy the code here and then place it into this one Okay, and then we just need to do the same way, copy and paste, let's do one by one. And don't forget to change the join number. And here we keep doing the right rotating code. And for you to better have a better reference, we need to make some remark on the right side here. And uh, keep doing. Once we finish all the copying, and we need to keep keep adding the zoom in and zoom out command code into the program. So same way, we just need to copy and paste. Sorry about it, the computer is a little bit jammed. Okay, keep copying and pasting. And then, please notice, please be noticed that the zoom in and zoom out stop command code is differ from the stop rotating code. So we need to also change the command code of this stop one. Okay, and then also the same way, do the copy and paste. Don't forget about the channel number. 
Okay, zoom in code, copy in. Okay, we have just finished the programming about the camera rotating and zooming, zoom out, controlling. Okay, next step, we need to make a programming about preset saving and uh, preset using. So as we know, the cameras always support the preset function. So we need to use this kind of programming to do the preset. First, we need to add a variable event here. Let's say when save is 0, we are using the preset. And when save is 1, we are uh, presetting this preset. So this bottom event here, push and release, save equal 0, save equal 1, is for the program to do a judgment of the startup of the camera so once we are pushing it it will give the program that save is zero and then once we release it will send the program that the program will know it save is one okay so let's keep doing the preset command code adding okay let's keep doing the copy and paste first create a bottom event here and then we just need to placing the command code of the preset and the preset use okay in this line we need to add one more extra function we need to use this if function and then uh, add two buckets we add this save equal zero and the computer will realize when the save is zero it will send the command code to the camera and do the presetting here we make this preset number one position one for uh, for the example okay and in this function we don't need the release we don't need the release function so and then uh, we add one more line this one is for the preset position preset position one so one so once the computer realized the save is one it will know that the position need to be preset and here we also need to copy and paste the command code of the preset Okay, we finished the editing and now let's explain about it. For instance, we push the button event number 9 on the top here. As we have programmed, the save is 0. And then in the meantime, if we push the 10 button at the same time, the computer will know that the save is equal 0. It will just send a com and this line of com command code to the com2 port and this code this command code is for preset position using and once we release the button number 9 the computer will notice that the save is now in equal to 1 so it will once we uh, in the meantime we push the button number 10 it will send the co command code of preset the position and so there's always more than one preset function so we need to just also com copy and paste and then we need to copy the corresponding preset command code into them so you can add as many preset as you want in the programming as long as you have the command code and this is the end of the co command code controlling the camera